All right, guys, we've got Marina Villatoro on the show here. So we've just done a podcast uh, where Marina's been kind enough to give us a whole bunch of information around uh, how she trades the e-mini futures market. And there's a lot of stuff in there that I've actually been like, ah, this is like perfect for what I need to add to my trading arsenal. So uh, after watching this little video where we're going to walk through her chart and actually see one of the trade setups she talks about on the show, then head over there and check out the podcast and, and learn a bit more. So Marina, over to you. Hi, <laughs> thanks so much. Okay, so I was mentioning earlier that my most favorite type of trade is the initial reaction trade. It's when the market decides it's time to change direction. So I'm gonna just go in a little bit deeper here. And what I was also saying is that learning the basics and understanding just from price action what the market is telling you is a really, really big deal. So I personally love, obviously when we trade, everything is in the live market, right? We don't see what's happening here or anything. So. If I'm going to be in this type of a market here and I'm starting to see all this movement and I personally love divergions and this here is my MACDs. So here is a new, here's a trend going down, right? And right here I'm starting to spot some divergences. So here is where this particular pivot is in the MACDs and it's pretty, it's going pretty well so far, but all of a sudden I'm, I'm spotting that there is massive divergence going on here. So when I start to see this, oh, sorry, my internet is unstable. Um, so when I'm seeing this divergence, I am a very conservative trader. I know that I need to stay out. I need to stay out. I use this red line. This is my 610 EMA line, which is a 52 week exponential moving average. And this is where I take all my trades from. So basically I'm seeing this go on and it tries to go down again. However, the divergence is still pretty strong. And now I'm seeing that the divergence is not changing. And all of a sudden, this is what happens. It becomes strong bars, strong movement. And if you see here in my MACDs, this blue line is my zero line. So anything from the zero line, and I have this other line, I try not to even look in that direction, but when I'm starting to see this massive going over it, and this probably like one, let me try and let me move this over here. Um, okay, so then it's almost at one yep. right here. Yep. <laughs> doesn't mean much like, oh, what does it mean? I just know that there's massive strength in the new direction. So what I do is I take all of my trades off of this 610 EMA line. So here's the strength. Here's the strength in the MACDs. This tiny little retracement. And look, there's no retracement in the MACDs. I would have my order waiting right here already because I saw that there's massive direction. And when it goes down, boom, to here, I'm in the trade immediately. And then I would only be in probably for like one point because even though you're in a new in a new trend with all this strength, you still don't know if it could change its mind, right? So I would be in definitely for one point, and if I go in with multiple contracts, I would probably get two contracts to fill me and then move my stop to here mm -hmm. immediately to mm -hmm. where I entered, so I'm at a break even, and then I could actually go and hit almost two points. And this is my 1597. EMA line from 1597 tick chart and normally it will not hit it on the first mark up after it changes direction so I know that and I wouldn't be anywhere near here for my last profit mm. um I would be out right because there's still a very good chance that the market can continue down because the overall momentum has been really strong to the downside however this is what I call immediate momentum and immediate momentum are like micro trends, right? And you could really benefit a lot, especially if a scalper in a micro trend, which will give you one to two points, which is exactly what you would get here. So that's one of my favorite, favorite trades. Now, the other kind of trade that I really enjoy are breakout trades. So let me just show you here a breakout trade. So here we are. Oh, no, this is here. Okay, so here we have a channel going on, right? This is a 
very strong sideways market. You have a really good support area, really strong resistance area. So I personally absolutely hate being wow. anywhere in this action here because look how erratic it looks. It's just yeah. gritty. And it's just all over the place. So I don't want to be anywhere near there. So what happened here? It was overall movement going up, right? Like it was an uptrend with a lot of this pause. And then what happened was it broke through. So I call this a breakout trade, right? So now we're above this resistance area. It breaks out strongly. I would be looking at, this is my 233 um, EMA line, which is a shorter um, transaction period. It means 233 ticks per transaction, and it's the exponential moving average of it. So I would be looking for it to come around here for my first entry because that is strength. Look at that strength with the MACDs. And here, there's no divergence at all yet because it just broke out. And again, I would probably be in here with my stop and probably only go for one point because when I go for the 233, it's a little bit more aggressive and I like one point. But I also mm -hmm. look at it as a new trend, even though it's continuing in the uptrend but it did have that strength in the breakout mm -hmm. right again you don't want to know when it's going to come down or anything that's not for us to decide what we do know is when you're starting a new race or starting a new project you have a lot of power and that's kind of what i look at when you have this breakout because finally the traders are like let's just go for it man let's go up yeah and that's the breakout <laughs> And then maybe the others will come in. I don't think I like it. Whatever the mentality behind what's going on, which is not for us to decide, it dies down. So you don't want to be in any other trades, right? But then also I'm starting to notice this pivot. Look how much higher it is in the MACDs. So it's also telling me that chances are of it continuing are not going to be great. And that's kind of what mm -hmm. happened here. So that's basically... I'm very simple in that respect. I love my divergences. I love the breakouts and new trends. This is another one right here. Let me just get this going here. Um, after it did all this movement and it went through with a lot of strength. Look at that beautiful strength. And look at here. That retracement barely retraced and it's still below that one line. Uh, even though it's negative because I love to go short as much as I love to go long, I would be in this right away. One point, I would be looking at one point because, again, it's been kind of uncertain what's going on. And that's another quick scalping trade yeah. that I would really recommend. Yeah. No. And, again, it's all technical, right? Strength in the MACDs, no divergence at the moment. My first retracement back to this EMA line, which is my line for my me to throw my bow at to my first profit target, which is usually a point. Nice. So that's brilliant. Yeah, in a nutshell. <laughs> superb. Now, look, that's absolutely superb. And I think, guys, if you head over and uh, listen to the podcast, there should be a link under this video. If it's not, on, if you're not on the video, uh, the podcast page, you're going to learn a lot more about uh, how Marina approaches the markets and uh and her story and how she got started and all that sort of good stuff uh as well as, as a lot of emotional um i suppose trading psychology tips as well which i, I thought were, was quite insightful and um is definitely going to help me so look marina thank you once again for coming on the show it's been a pleasure having you uh, all the way from guatemala <laughs> and uh i'm a first guest from guatemala and um look i wish you all the best for the future Oh, actually, before you. before you wrap up, what's the best way for the guys to, to get hold of you? Oh, thetraderchick.com. I think I have it written here. I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Thetraderchick.com. Okay, guys, so go and check it out. So Traderchick.com. And, um, yeah, look, uh, subscribe to the podcast, uh, the YouTube channel as well to get more great interviews and videos like this. All right, guys, see you then. Bye. <laughs>